What's going on you guys and welcome back to the a -Ray Show. So in this video we are going to be talking about Robinhood Gold and for those of you guys that don't know Robinhood Gold is basically a premium version of Robinhood which pretty much everything on Robinhood is free but the gold benefit costs about $5 every single month but it gives you tons of benefits. So in this video we're going to be talking about all those benefits and whether or not you should get Robinhood Gold as well. I myself got it a few months ago and I've been testing out a lot of the features that it offers. So in this video we're going to go over every single one of those features and we'll figure out whether or not it's worth it for you or not so if you guys want to see all that stay tuned and you guys already know what comes next cue that intro so first and foremost to get Robinhood Gold, you're gonna to have to go to the settings and activate it. You can do it from your phone or the desktop and it's gonna cost $5 every single month. And $5 every single month can be a little bit hefty for some people and or to other people, you just don't wanna pay that $5 every single month and I totally get it. But one good thing to know is some of the features that come with Robinhood Gold can actually help you make that $5 every single month back. So we're gonna go over some of those features, but just to kind of show you guys, this is the Robinhood Gold page and these are some of the features and we'll be going over every single one of these individually. So the biggest benefit that I use is this instant deposit limit. So as a Robinhood Gold member, you're able to get a higher instant deposit limit. If you don't have Robinhood Gold, that is $1,000. So as soon as you put in a deposit order, you're going to get that $1,000 no matter how much you put in over $1,000 and then the rest will clear after three, five business days. And of course it could take longer, sometimes shorter. It really just depends on your bank and Robinhood. But this feature is great if you wanna be able to throw in a bunch of money and make a quick profit, or if you see a huge dip in the market and you think it'll go right up, this is the best way to get money instantly into Robinhood and make that trade. And I think this is one of the best ways that you can actually make your money back from paying the $5 every single month. And I recently used this too when I saw crypto dip too. And that's why my account is a little bit higher because I used I used that opportunity when Ethereum and Bitcoin all crashed a little bit recently to kind of buy the dip. So here we are and I definitely think that instant deposit limit is great and that's probably my favorite feature. And also one thing to note and I can't pull this up on the website for some reason, but if you go onto the app, you click Robinhood Gold, it'll show you the features in particular. And if you go to look at the instant deposit limit, here are the limits and I'll just read them off to you. So it's $5,000 in your port if your portfolio values under 10,000, 10,000 if your portfolio values over 10,000, 25,000 in that instant deposit if your portfolio is over 25,000 and then 50,000 if your portfolio value is over 50,000. My portfolio is sitting at around 20,000 so that would mean that my limit right now that I can get an instant deposit is $10,000. And that's just kind of the way it works. Either way, that's a pretty great limit. And then for the rest of the funds, you're gonna have to wait those five business days or however long it takes your bank and Robinhood to get that going. So first benefit is that instant deposit limit, which is great. Next up is a feature that a lot of people love, and that's all the research tools that comes with Robinhood Gold. So if, for example, we're gonna be looking at Palantir stock, and of course you're gonna get all the basic things that you already get without Robinhood Gold. You know, you're gonna get this, you know, Q&A shareholder, the options, about, key statistics, related list, blah, blah, blah. But then the thing that we do get with Robinhood Gold is this research report. And this is done by Morningstar. And for those of you guys that don't know what Morningstar is, it's basically just an independent investment research company. And you know, they got their whole team going on over there. And then they basically publish their findings and analysis in like, you know, easy to read format. So that's what this is over here. We got the full report, we got the stars. The more stars means the more undervalued it is. For example, they're seeing that the fair value of Palantir is $31. And as we know right now, Palantir is at $13. So it's grossly undervalued, hence the five stars. So it's just kind of a way to look at it. It doesn't mean that their opinion is correct, but it's, it's a good research tool to kind of learn and understand about it. It also goes on about the economic moat, uncertainty, stewardship, which is basically leadership. And then you can read the full report over here. And you know, this is a way to access great tools. I mean. We're not gonna find this ordinarily. You know, we'd have to do a lot more digging as regular retail investors. But I definitely think this is great. I mean, look at that. It's great. It lets you know the fair value, the last close, and so on, so on and so forth. It also lets you know some of the competitors, the the trend. Honestly, this is great. I mean, great researches. You know what I mean? Great research tool. 
So that's one thing that I really love is this Morningstar report. Of course, I don't use this as fairly often as some of the other research tools out there. I like to do my own research, but for a lot of people, or if, you, if you're even investing into, let's say, dividend stocks, this is great to get an outside perspective. So with that being said, this is a great research tool. So additionally, they have another research tool called Level 2 Market Data, and we're going to go on a random penny stock. So that's going to be SDC, Smile Direct Club. I think level two data is pretty great. It's not as useful as it once was because of all the different factors that we're versing in this current economy today, but it could still be useful. So for example, let's go down to expand and the level two market data is not gonna be accessible right now as I'm recording this video on the weekend, but I kind of show you guys how it looks. So if we go ahead, we're just gonna skip over that. We can add data. We've got the order book, which right now is empty because it's the weekend. And then we also have the death chart so you're only going to get that with robin hood gold and unfortunately you can't really see anything right now i'll pull up weeble to kind of show you guys how it looks because i also have level two market data with weeble i don't really like how it looks on robin hood if i have to be fairly honest it's still a great tool and if you're primarily on robin hood then this is definitely a great feature and if you do a lot of trading on robin hood it's great so let me just pull over Weeble to kind of show you guys how it looks real quick. So here it is right over here for Smile Direct Club. You can see the order book over here, which is going to be the level two market data. As you guys can see, here are the prices and here are the recent people that are buying. It's a lot better on the app to be quite honest. And also to note, I don't think that you can get level two market data on your phone. I've tried to look into videos and I couldn't figure out how to pull it up on my phone. It was desktop only. So that's also a con to that Robinhood Gold feature. But nonetheless, this is how level two market data looks for those of you guys wondering. And let me know if I should do a video on that. Definitely leave a comment down below. But anyways, that's market two level data, which is a great thing that Robinhood has as having Robinhood Gold. So the last feature that you get with Robinhood Gold is margin investing. Personally, I don't use margin investing at all, and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody that doesn't really have too much experience with, with investing in general. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't officially recommend anything to you guys. Just take this with a grain of salt. But anyways, it could be really risky because essentially, for those of you guys that don't know, margin investing is borrowing money from Robinhood or from whatever broker that you wanna get it from and then you have to pay an interest on that. So as you guys can see, I don't use it at all, but if I had to, if I was borrowing money from Robinhood, you guys can see that there's an unpaid interest thing over here. So I would be having to pay interest on the money that I borrowed. I'm currently disabled because I don't wanna use margin investing at all. So here's the borrowing limit. Here's the total margin, margin use, and the interest rate is 2.5%. And I do believe this will vary depending on every single person. But I think for most people, it should be 2.5%. Don't quote me on that. Again, I don't use margin at all. So here's an example I found of using Robinhood gold with margin features and using it to your benefit. So you guys can pause and read it over here. And then there's also going to be a loss section over here. So know your risk before you start to invest with margin. And also, guys, I'll leave this in the link in the description just in case you guys want to check it out. And also, for some reason, I actually did find the the bigger instant deposit and the limit. So again, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out and you can pause it because I know it's hard seeing it just from hearing my voice and kind of just maybe wrote it down or whatever. But here are the numbers straight and clear forward. So that way you guys can actually understand what are your instant deposit levels. So with that being said, is Robinhood gold worth it for you guys or not? My biggest thing is if you're investing tons of money and you want instant deposit right away, then go ahead and go for it because I think Robinhood Gold and Robinhood is probably the only broker that I can think of that you're going to get instant deposit levels at that high. So I think it's great, especially if you see a huge dip opportunity. I personally only got Robinhood Gold for one, for this video, and two, because I saw a great dip in Ethereum. So I actually wanted to own some Ethereum to kind of trade out of the dip and that's exactly what I did. Second of all, if you are a huge investor inside of the Robinhood platform and you like to dabble with margin, then I think this is great for you. And third, if you like a lot of research tools, of course you can get a lot of better ones out there, I'm not gonna lie. But if you do like you know, what you saw from Morningstar, you, saw, you like that report, and you also like level two market data and you don't have Webull or you don't have any other platforms that give you free level two market data and you're not too worried about the $5 per month or you think that you can make that $5 per month back with trading through and looking at level two market data, then Robinhood Gold is definitely for you. 
personally, I don't think I'm going to keep it for too much longer. I'm going to kind of abuse it while I have this free month. I think they give you one free month. And then after that, you start paying the $5 per every single month. So I'm going to start abusing. It. I'm going to go through every single one of these Morningstar reports of the stocks that I own just to kind of get another perspective. So with that, that's pretty much it for this video for you guys. Let me know if you guys are thinking about getting Robinhood Gold. Personally, I think it's pretty great. It's definitely innovative. And Robinhood is a pretty basic and free platform. So adding this $5 per month definitely helps them out as a stock and a company. And I do think it does have some good benefits. I really love this instant deposit because, you know, for me, I was able to get a huge return by buying that crypto dip. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought. And guys, remember, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot. And guys, peace out. Remember, everybody eats.